What is good, YouTube? It's your boy down back here with another build video, man. Today I got y'all with another 100 plus badge build because I like giving y'all builds that can give y'all the most, I guess, customizability. Something that you can do a lot more with than any other build, man. And that's why I keep dropping these 100 plus badge builds. Make sure y'all like it up. And um, make sure y'all like it up down there. Hit me in the comment section, man. Ask if y'all looking for any other builds. And also, make sure you hit that subscribe, man. A lot of y'all are not subscribed to the channel. We gotta change that. Now, all right. For this build, we're going with a shooting guard. Handing this up to you. Jersey numbers up to you, as usual. So, for the height on this build, we're going with 6'8". This is a big body shooting guard, man. And for the weight, we're going with 185. Wingspan is 7 foot. And the body shape is built. We don't care about that body shape, man. Dude, be, be you. Make it however you want to make it. Now, all right. And next, we're going to get into the actual finishing on this build. There's one thing that I actually like a lot for the build, man. The finishing is kind of crazy. With this build being 6'8", you might want to go down low with it. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, we are going to upgrade close shot. We're going to take that up to an 88. We're going to take driving layup up to an 82. We're gonna rock with a driving dunk of 85, man. And I know you could probably get a little bit, not probably, you can get it a little bit higher, but I feel like it, it won't necessarily get you all the badges we're looking for on this build. All right, for the shooting, we can go kind of crazy. We want a 90 for the mid-range shot, an 84 for the for the three-point shot. We're gonna go with a 74 on the free throw. And uh, just to cover it real quick, so some of the badges you should be looking for as far as uh, the finishing, man. Um, you, of course, want to have posterizer on this build. I feel like that's the that goes without saying. I mean, it's only on silver, but trust me, that is enough to get the job done. Um, I would suggest rocking with a fearless finisher as well. If it matches your play style, teardropper, but otherwise, most other people, uh, slithery, lob city for sure on gold. Limitless takeoff on at least silver. I like to rock with it on at least silver. But that's up to you. If you do more finesse than anything else, make sure you have Pro Touch on it. Make sure you turn your timing off. It's already been confirmed that it works best with the timing off. Now for the shooting badges, man, uh, we gonna go with Sniper on Hall of Fame. I dialed it back on a couple of my other builds down to gold, and they have lower three points, so you might be able to get away with that. Um, so I got it on gold. Catch and shoot is a must on this build. It is an off-ball player. I mean, your dribble moves would be decent on this build, but it ain't it ain't nothing. I'm, I wouldn't use this as a primary ball handler just because the build is 6'8". It's a little bit slower than the small guards would be. And um, the rest of them are pretty much up to you after sniper and hot zone hunter. Uh, obviously, catch and shoot would be good for this. Stop and pop is a maybe. It depends on your play style. Now, we're going to get right into the, the passing uh the playmaking badges so you want to go 85 honestly it's all for that gold bullet passer man and then we're going to go with an 80 for the ball handle and we're going to go with a max speed with ball we want to just go ahead and get a quick first step on silver <clears throat> can't get it much higher than that with the height on this build and i feel like the height is one of the biggest advantages to this build and i wouldn't want to give that away uh just to get more badges or you know be a little bit faster this build is, is made for a team dynamic all right on to the defense man the defense is where i think this build actually shines the most because we are going to be adding quite a bit of defense on this we're going to max out the perimeter defense we're going to max out the steel we're going to uh go ahead and give the block a max as well man you see we already got 16 and we didn't even touch the rebounding yet get an 85 on the defensive rebounding and we're gonna get a 70 on the offensive rebound in all honesty this 70 for the offensive rebounding is purely purely for the badges i ain't gonna even front now on to the physicals a lot of these physicals are important man make sure the speed is all the way up the acceleration is all the way up we're gonna leave strength right where it's at we're gonna take the vertical to a 75 and then the stamina we're gonna put that all the way up until we can't no more which gives us a total of 21 finishing badges, 29 shooting badges, 23 playmaking badges, and 25 on defense, man. Now, like I said, this is an over 100 badge build, but if you add that up, 
You be like, hey man, that only equals 98, but you're forgetting about your rebirth, man. Your rebirth off rip gives you four. Then how many times you hit 39 depends on the rest, man. I've hit it twice so far. I'm looking to hit it a third time, and I am really grinding towards getting it, man. But I'll we gonna see how it turns out. But anyway. And of course, it ain't a build video without going into the takeovers and putting some of the badges on so I can show you what they look like on the build itself. Uh, so for the takeovers, this is one of the options you can go with. You can go with like a slashing and a shooting, but pretty much all the takeovers you get slashing, shot creating, um, obviously you get the sharp shooting and you get the lockdown. Uh, it depends on how you're going to play this build. Like if you're going to play at the top of the 2-3, you get a lot of stops. You're one of those, you know, bumpy locks as they call it. Uh, then go with the go with the lockdown takeover but uh the limitless range the double sharp takeover is kind of op man it does add like a whole new depth to your game you can get team takeover a lot faster and you can take over super easy especially if you do that uh chris brickley workout to get the accelerator perk i mean i haven't used any of the negative ones yet like the ones that take away from people's takeovers but uh on the lock build that may be one of those things that that would honestly help you out a lot but yeah, that is, those are the takeovers. But as I always say, man, make sure the takeovers that you choose match your play style. And all right, last but not least, this is the build name, man. We got a two-way sharpshooter shades of Ray Allen, Tyrese Halliburton, and Desmond Bain. I have no idea who Desmond Bain is, man. He must be a young guy or something. Let me know down in the comment section if you know who that is. I, I might go through YouTube and check out some of them check out some highlights of whoever that is but anyway man lately my channel has been blowing up and i really appreciate all the support man y'all been coming through y'all been liking the videos y'all been subscribing like crazy hey man we are on the way to that to 1k man we are on the way to 1k and i appreciate everybody who's been subscribing lately man it has been a journey for me um playstation broke not too long ago got it fixed or actually i fixed it myself uh, i had to repair the disk drive my son put some pennies in it but yeah um that's pretty much it man i'll catch y'all boys in the next one i appreciate everybody been rocking with me man i'll catch y'all boys later peace